Hello, people! I have returned to a place that has no air conditioning. So, like, hot. It's so hot here. Like, having no air conditioning in the middle of a heat wave is really kind of sucky. Hi, Cold Clutch! I have returned! Wah ah ah. Oh, I don't know if I should do an evil laugh or a maniacal laugh. I have no energy for that. Um, so today's stream, it'll probably be short because it's just too hot. No AC here either, huh? There's a lot of houses that are built for no AC. Mine is not one of them. At all. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's, it's really, really unpleasant here right now. Um, yeah. Hi, Boosted! How's it going? Do I have a thing for you? I got a thing for you as soon as I find it. There it is! Marshmallow. It's too hot for marshmallows. Everything's too hot. But I have come back. I had a good vacation. My hair is blue. And there's no AC. And I drank blue Kool-Aid because it's colder than cocoa. Marshmallows melt at some point. Like, seriously. Ugh. It's so hot. Um, so yeah, uh, like I was trying to say earlier, this is not going to be a long stream. Even though it's a Friday, I just can't. They're supposed to fix, come and fix my AC on Wednesday. We'll see how that goes. Um, if, if I get AC on Wednesday, then my stream on Friday next week should be a bit longer. But today I'm planning to do like an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blue hair. It's a thing. It's temporary. Don't worry. It washes out. But it was part of my vacation, so I had a good time. Ugh. Hot. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Last stream, which was forever ago. Two weeks ago? It was a while. 
Yeah, blue hair. Yeah, it was like that when it was fresh. It's not. It's kind of more of a dull brownish green at the moment. Kind of on its way on its way out. But yeah, it was bright blue for a little bit. Lots of fun. Um, Cause you got to do those kinds of things on vacation, right? And somehow I managed not to get COVID. Which is also really cool. Or at least I haven't gotten COVID yet. Uh, let's just put the yet on it. Some of my friends who I was hanging out with got COVID, but not me. I tested negative. Woohoo! Gosh. Um, so, like, last stream I did killing imps for magic levels. So that when I got back from vacation I could do questing. And I can't do questing because it's too hot. I got the fan running. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. Let me know if the fan is a problem. I mean, not that I really want to turn it off or, or anything, but maybe I would move it a different direction or something. Uh, two, two box fans in the house. Two ceiling fans going. All of the windows are like, I feel like I live in a cave. Because all of the windows are all blocked off and it's dark and it's not a, not a thing I wanted to come home to from vacation, but you know, stuff happens. At least my house didn't burn down or something weird. Um, so yeah, what am I doing today? Melting. Um, I could go to Camdazol, I could do just some menial thing like fishing. Can I get any salmon yet? Where's my salmon? Yeah, I can get salmon now. Um, everything else is members for that. I have some stuff in my G. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I sold some stuff from killing imps, didn't I? Cool. Got money. Woohoo! Is there any- maybe I should just sell stuff. Do I have more stuff I need to sell? I am literally just melting. Uh, well not literally because that would be pretty gross and hard to clean up. <sighs> melting skin. That reminds me of Indiana Jones. One of the, the last crusade I guess where the guy melts at the end of the show. Yeah, gross. Hard to clean up. Okay, so I can sell rings and amulets. I made those. I'm not selling any of my outfits. Although I could sell some of these blue wizard hats maybe. And I probably don't need 15 of them. Um, I'm not selling any of that stuff. I don't need to sell food, right? The blue, yeah, mithril is better than adamant, so maybe I could sell that. Uh, let's just, let's start with the jewelry. Oh, whoops, let's note it. Note, notes. That's better. Let's just start there. Oh. Okay. There should be a third thing that I can sell somewhere. Um. Yeah, I give up. Let's start with this. Sell all of these. Ten thousand four thirty-two. That'd be kind of nice. Let's do it. That was quick. Maybe I should have increased the price. Whatever. And this one. Cool. Confirm. That also sold really fast. Maybe I need more gold to make more jewelry. Oops. What 
am I doing for money? I'm doing alright for money. Um... <laughs> I could... Emerald rings and sapphire amulets are good because of members utility. Like, they need gold though, and I don't... where's my... There's gold. I only have seven gold left. Um, I could do silver or some things. What am I doing for... That's crafting. Jewelry... Alright. Lots of gold stuff. Where's the silver stuff? Members. Holy symbol. I haven't made any of those. Uh, members, 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 members. Gold. Tiara. I can make tiara. Members. Sapphire amulet. Is that gold or is that silver? I think that's gold. And that's gold. And that's gold. Alright, so... And I'm only up to level 30. So there's not much for silver except for the holy symbol and the... Tiara. Tiaras are fun and used for runecrafting. Okay, so let me just go make go get some sil silver. I can mine for silver today, I think. Does anybody know where the silver is? In mining? I don't remember anything. They have silver in here, right? This one's big enough. It should have silver. I'm hot. We're going to the desert. Just calling it right now. And I'm going to change my outfit. You know where all the silver is. I thought you know where all the coal is, Coal Clutch. Silver next to coal, is that why you know? I need, a, I need an outfit for hot. Where's my shorts? Where's my shorts? There's my shorts. And... This one, and my summer hat, summer hat, and this is my summer outfit. Let's try that. Bump, 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 and let's take this off. Yeah. Take the gloves off. I don't need the. Well, I'm gonna be mining. Do I need gloves? Can't think. I wish I had sandals. Do they have sandals in this game? I don't think so. I don't think they have sandals. I don't see any sandals that I have anyway. They have slippers? Well, I mean, I got the Santa boots. They're boots. Never mind. What am I thinking? Loafers. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's so hot. Okay, so I got my summer outfit on. And I need a thing. This. This thing. And we're going to go get silver. But apparently I can put my staff away. Let's just go get a bunch of silver. And since I'll be in the desert anyway, I can make tiaras and stuff in the furnace over there. Let's just do that. Blah! So hot. So hot. Like, I think I'd have to pull out an actual temperature monitoring measuring doohickey to figure out how hot it would be in here or is in here ah uh, my brain is fried I know my thermostat downstairs is reading something like 83 84 degrees Fahrenheit and I know that upstairs is hotter than that generally it fluctuates between 4 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than that. 
upstairs. And then of course, where do I have all the computer stuff? Oh, desert has silver. Good choice. Thank you. Um, so I know it's hotter than 84 degrees Fahrenheit upstairs. So that puts me at what? 29, 30 degrees Celsius upstairs? Something like that? Like, somebody would have to type it in to, to internet and tell me what the conversions are, because my brain... I guess it would be 30. It's warm. Yes. It's hotter outside than that. I th think it's 95 or 96 or something like that outside. They were predicting, last night they sent out alerts to everybody predicting 104 degrees in the middle of a heat wave. But I, I don't think it's going to make it to 104. Clouds are rolling in, so it's going to like stop that from happening. But I want my AC. Give me my air conditioning, please. I'm melting over here. It would be nice if my blue hair was like ice and could cool me down. <sighs> I'm yawning because I'm talking and that takes energy and it's hot. I don't know, am I contributing to the, the hot air by talking? No. My character has blue hair too. Yes, my character has blue hair. Blue! This is true. Um, my cats have been hot. They lost weight. Well, I was on vacation. Just too hot. Everything's too hot. Um, that's not silver. Is that one silver? No, that's not silver. That's silver. That's gotta be silver. Wasn't it hot during my holiday? No, because I had a hotel room. And I can have air conditioning in my hotel room. Um, outside the hotel, yeah, it was warm. But like, the way the heat wave is moving around the country, it had not hit the area I was in yet. It hit it I want to say, I want to say Thursday or Friday last week is when the heat started hitting over there. But I guess the heat was hitting here something like Sunday or Monday before that. So my house has been under heat longer than I have based off of how I was traveling and things. Oh, there was the one time, the one one bit of travel there, I went through an area that was at 106 degrees and my car was overheating and it was a bad time. Um, 106, guys. 106 degrees Fahrenheit is above 40 Celsius. I don't know the math right now. That's above 40. My car was not happy. Hi kitty. You come to say hi? Hey. Even the cat will deal with the fan sometimes. There's a bit more silver at the top of the mine. Okay. I'll go take a look at that when I finish these ones. Meow. Meow kitty. Hi kitty. His favorite spot right now is in the dark underworld of underneath the couch. It's the coolest spot he knows. 
Hi, kitty kitty. You gonna settle in my lap? Probably not, because I'm all warm, but maybe. You just want pets? Let's see. Oh, silver. Let's get that. Oh, okay. Bye, kitty. Cats don't like the fan because it's noisy, but they'll take the fan over the heat, so. Wait, is that one a different color? That one's tin. I don't want tin. Yeah, I don't want tin. Drop it. Make it go away. Wait. Give me this. Uh, so hot. Total of five in the whole mine. Okay. I'm just gonna go back to this. Anyway, vacation was good. Blue hair, hot weather, got to see some friends, didn't catch COVID. I call it a win. How were you guys when I was out? Any adventures? Anything exciting happen? Oh yeah, cat hot. He's all like completely stretched out, like full length on the floor in front of the van right now. Are you chopping at the right one? Yes, you are. There we go. Hot. Went to the beach. Ooh, beach sounds good. Ugh. Beach sounds like a lot of good right now. Cold water, or was it warm, warm, salty water? Ugh. That sounds bad. Warm, salty water. But cold ocean water sounds sounds great. Or was it not an ocean beach? It was nice temp weather. I'm always assuming beach means ocean. Beach doesn't always mean ocean. It can mean lake or river beach too. So which beach was it? We have seas. So that's like close enough to ocean. I'm just gonna call it ocean because I can't think straight enough. It's salty water, so we'll go with ocean, I think. I think seas are salty. And lakes, lakes and rivers are generally not salty, so we'll just go with, you went to a salty beach. Yep. Seas are attached to oceans. Well, I mean, so are rivers, generally. But only on like one end. Oh. Maybe I'll go out for ice cream. <sighs> if I don't like stick to the chair. So hot, guys. Golly. I think I know a place where I can get marshmallow ice cream. Or marshmallows in my ice cream. Or marshmallow topping for my ice cream. Cold ice cream sounds good right now. Oh, I'll probably get brain freeze and a stomach ache. I've been in the heat so long. Do you have any tips or tricks for avoiding brain freeze and stomach aches from eating something cold? I should prepare. I'm gonna drink some water. Don't let it hit the roof of your mouth. 
Okay, I think that's a brain freeze one. Yeah. Any ideas how to combat the um, stomach ache part? Because if you like have such a sharp degree of temperature difference, you get a stomach ache, right? I think that's how that works. That's why they tell you not to drink cold water on a really hot day. Cannot combat stomach ache. All right, well. It was a thought. I am almost full. So I'll just wait over here for this one to come back and then I will walk back to the bank. And maybe do some more, I don't know. Should I make them into bars first? I need an empty space in order to make them into bars. So maybe I just go back to the furnace now. Let's just do that. I like this hat. I wonder if I should get a hat like that in real life. I wonder how hard it is to see out of a hat like that. That's my biggest problem with big hats. I can't see... They just kind of flop down. Where am I going? There we go. I'm melting. I'm so melting. They're good against the sun. Unfortunately, I'm indoors and like not in the sun. So there's no help there. I might get a towel wet and wrap it around my head or something. I don't know. Let's make these into bars. Cold shower. Yes, cold shower works. Why did I forget that? Cold shower works. Getting my head soaked in something cold gives me a headache sometimes but it doesn't last long enough to me to make me not do it cold shower swimming all that's good stuff I'm going through water so fast If I count the blue Kool-Aid and the tea that I had <clears throat> and all the water that I've had, so far today I've had about three liters of liquid and I'm just dying. <laughs> I'm just dying. I'm gonna melt turn into a puddle of goo in my chair and just, you know, wait for cold weather to come back or for somebody to fix my air conditioner. <clears throat> I don't know how countries without air conditioners do it. Like, I really don't. I can't think properly. I can't move around very much. It's just so hot. Lethal death dose of water is like seven liters. Well, yeah, but that's like if you drink it all at once. And not if you're like sweating it out. All right, let's go get some more. I'm a chronic user of water. Hey, Butter King. Some countries farther from equator than you are usually colder climates to begin with. So that's why a lot of places don't need AC. Oh, I suppose. I mean, there are very few, but there are a few places that are here and intentionally don't have air conditioning, but they're built for it. They build their houses very specifically for airflow and like capturing cold air at night and all that stuff so that they can 
survive this. My house is not built for that. Not at all. Um, I am lucky if I can keep it 10 degrees cooler than the outside world by keeping all of my windows closed and covered and fans going and like if I'm really lucky that's that's how it is that's not how it is today of course because you know it's like I can I've got it what like six degrees cooler maximum like then outside I don't know wait where I'm going over this way it's hot it's just hot Blah. I had to put my margarine in the refrigerator I have to put anything chocolatey in the refrigerator. Pretty much anything that might melt goes in the refrigerator. <laughs> I wish I could climb into the refrigerator. <laughs> oh man. That's where margarine goes. No, that's where butter goes. Margarine is mostly oil based, so it doesn't have to go in the and I like it better at room temperature for when I need to cook with it or whatever. It takes, like, if it's cold, you can't put it on toast. It just doesn't work on toast at all. It just won't spread. Some people tell me I have to put peanut butter in the refrigerator, too, and I think they're nuts. But peanut butter in the refrigerator gets rock hard. What are you supposed to do with it when it's rock hard? How are you supposed to use peanut butter after it's been in the refrigerator? Like, how does that work? I don't understand it at all. Margarine is oil-based. My chemistry knowledge is tingling. Yeah, if you read it, it's like got co canola, I think it's canola oil as one of the major ingredients. That's why it doesn't have to be in the refrigerator is because of the oil. It's not dairy. That's one reason I get it. I buy it on purpose. Butter, butter I'll buy, but it's for baking. So I want it hard and cold so I can chop it for the right measurements of tablespoons or whatever. And then just stick it into the mixing bowl and stuff. Although I usually have to squish it with a fork. Sometimes I'll put it in the microwave. But you can't like do that if you're gonna put it on toast. Oil can be a dairy. What planet are you from? Last I checked, milk milk comes from cows, not oil. I don't know any cow that gives oil. Not a single one. That's some cow you got over there. Put a stick of butter in a pan and it's oil. No, it's still butter. It's just melted butter. I leave my butter in the fridge and when I butter my toast in the morning, I just use the butter knife to cut a thin slice. Okay, so maybe that's the difference. I don't have a butter knife. What the heck is a butter knife? I just have like the normal knife that you eat with, with like the ridges and stuff. And I know that doesn't work very well. Difference between oil and fat is if it's a solid at room temperature. All right, you leave milk out long enough on the counter at room temperature, it'll turn into a solid. That does not mean anything about it being oil or fat. That just means it curdled and got gross. Yeah, it's a butter knife to us. The ones that come with forks and spoons, we, yeah, okay, those are butter knives. All right, so then maybe I just can't cut my slices thin enough. Oh. Because it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. I just end up with a chunk of margarine or butter on my toast and my toast cools off too fast for it to melt. So then I'm just like taking a big bite of butter or margarine and that's not what I wanted. That's why margarine is not oil based, it's plant based. Cutting through slices of cheese. I suppose. 
Make oils out of animal fat, it's just not popular. Well, you can make oil out of fat, animal fat, that you cut off and, and I think they call it rendering or something. Rendering the fat. But that's not milk. That's like you cut the animal open and take the fat off that's next to the meat. I don't see that having anything to do with dairy. Something you master over years and years. <laughs> Alright. Well, you said dairy could be oil. And I'm telling you, dairy and oil are two different things. Otherwise, they would call them oil or dairy. They wouldn't, like, separate them out. Like, they would be the same thing. I don't hear anybody calling milk or cheese oils. Hi, kitty. You want back up in my lap again? Ghee. Alright, somebody has to explain ghee. What is ghee? Like, the only ghee I know is, like, martial arts. Oh, no, wait, that's chi. I think it's called chi. What's ghee? I'm lost, you guys. Okay. Somebody... Somebody fix my melted brain and tell me what the heck. Okay, what is... This isn't helping me. Clarified butter just means it's creamy, right? You heat butter and remove the top layer. Oh, hey, I leveled. Yay. So you boil butter? And then, like, skim the top of it off? Is it, what, like, turn into some sort of, like, the skimmy part of nasty stew or something? Heat, no need to boil. Yes, you heat butter, all the impurities become a top. Okay, so now we're talking about impurities. Um, I'm... I'm too fried for this. Okay, clarified butter, you can uh, buy ghee at your grocery. Okay. Becomes an oil basically made from butter, which was dairy. So, and uh, ghee can be cooked with a lot hotter. So then why can't you do that with milk? If you can do it with butter, why can't you do that with milk or like cream? You can. Okay, so I'm I'm just ignorant. Gotta make butter with milk. Curdle the milk first. Alright, so you leave the milk out on the countertop for a couple days. And then you cook it. And then you get oil. Is that what I'm hearing? That sounds nasty. Oh. Inventory full. Not quite Bill Nye the science guy. I'm also fried. Like, maybe this would make more sense if I was not fried. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. But I'm probably just ignorant. Hey, Toscopy! You're fried. Surviving the heat wave barely. Oh, it's so hot. And talking about cooking things and oils and stuff, just. Do marshmallows turn into oil too? What are marshmallows made out of? I think they were made out like corn syrup or something. Oh, different. No, I'm like literally dripping sweat in front of a fan because my air conditioner is broken and we're going through a heat wave outside. Um, and that's frying my brain. So, like, the result's the same, but the the stuff, the conditions up to that are different, maybe. 
can always cool down in a cold bath. Cold bath. I have the laptop next to the bath. Yeah, the, the monitor is not gonna be. I live in Florida. You know about heat. Gosh. Do you have air conditioning in Florida? Does everybody have air conditioning in Florida? Can I do this with a full inventory? I thought I had to have space. No, I can do this. Alright. Like, I don't know how people live without air conditioning. Honest. I'm just, I'm just gonna turn into a puddle of goo. Like the guy from Indiana Jones. It's be messy to clean up. I better not do that. Usually, yes, but sometimes ours goes out, especially in the summer. Right? Why do air conditioners go out in the summer and furnaces go out in the winter? Why can't they just... Like, I can see a furnace overheating. Like, why doesn't it overheat? And, and I can see uh, an air conditioner freezing up. Why doesn't that happen? It's like the opposite. Air conditioners overheat and furnaces freeze up. It's like, this is beyond me. This is, this is beyond, what do they call it? I don't know what they call it. I'm melting. That's fine. So yeah, since you joined a bit later, uh, it's a shorter stream. <clears throat> I'm out of water. Blah. Again. Um, and hot. Hey, I have that hat. Um, that was a random distraction. Alright, put this in here. We'll do like maybe one more more inventory. And then like I don't know. Yeah, put it in the bank. Put it in the bank, please. There we go. We'll do one more inventory and then that's probably gonna be it for for now. I'm just dead. Um so we have other topics. Do you guys have a good two weeks while I was out? I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. Didn't miss me too much. But don't tell me you didn't miss me at all, because then I'll cry. I hope you missed me just a little bit. Even if it's just a teeny bit. That, that'll be fine. I'll be okay with that. <sighs> Hot. You're off work till Thursday. Woohoo! Is that a vacation or is that like. I don't know. Is that a vacation off till Thursday or is that like. Just how your schedule goes? Because that's like a whole week, right? That is a week. Today's Friday. It's Friday. Yay! Doing anything fun? Going to the beach? Eating ice cream? <clears throat> what you doing for your vacation? Travel? Go to Iceland? Or Antarctica? Go see penguins? I'm so hot, man. Alright. Hmm. You're not even sure? Well, you did say you were fried. So I don't blame you. <clears throat> Thankfully, I don't have a boss. He would be really mad. I haven't been into work since 2017. That's a long time. Wow. Do you, like, work without an office? Like, work from home or something like that? Work remote? Vacay. Oh, you've been on vacation since 2017? I think I'd get bored. How do you not get bored for years of, like, not having work? 
Like, even retired people, that's, that's a, like, a psychological problem with retired people, is they have no work. They get bored. How do you not do that? Do you have, like, projects and things? You've kept yourself busy. So you've got projects and things, then that's fine. That makes more sense. Some retired people are. You wouldn't believe how many of them believe that they can do the the um, the travel and the excitement stuff <clears throat> that they uh, could do in their twenties. They can't, they they actually legitimately think, oh well, I've worked all of this all this time and all these years, and now. I'm gonna go do skydiving, and I'm gonna go do uh, surfing, and I'm gonna go climb Mount Everest, and then they find out, oh, well, I'm actually too old, my body won't let me do that anymore, because, you know, I've been sitting in a chair for the last 60 years. Maybe not 60. But, so then, they, then they're all, like, depressed, because they don't have any work to do, and they don't have any projects. They just bought an RV. Sixth RV. It, what? You travel. Vacation now is horrible. Just past COVID, it's all just a mess. Well, travel by airplane. Yeah, travel is kind of a mess. You have to be vaccinated to get across borders and things. I guess if you stay in your own country, it's less of a problem, depending on the country. But RV travel... That sounds like it could work. Not for me. It's not for me. But I've known people who could do it. I'm just not, I'm, I'm illiterate for like cars and stuff. So if something broke down, I wouldn't be able to handle it. Hey, Revelations. I am mining silver so that I can make holy symbols and tiaras later. And because I'm fried and can't think of stuff that lets me talk and just not think about what I'm doing. It's so hot. But welcome, Revelations, to the conversation of me complaining about my air conditioner being broken in the middle of a heat wave. Just what everybody wants to experience right after vacation. And then we were talking about Butter King's vacation that has lasted years. Which is travel. Travel based. RV travel. Now do you do like the camping campsite RV travel stuff or do you do like the the glorified RV um, caravan style of stuff? Because some people like to go out on their own in the, in the woods with their RV and some people like to hang out with other RV people. Boondocking? No camps. Okay, explain boondocking. I don't understand boondocking. You're gonna teach me some, some RV terminology here. Boondock stray dogs. That sounds like a... Something to do with ships and, and water. Like a dock pier? Like a pier. There we go. Boondocking is like when you have no surplus. Like no electricity, no sewer, no water. You gotta survive on what you got. Oh. Alright. So, kind of like tent camping, just not in a tent. You can, like, drive. You drive your, your solid tent to places. You have sewer tanks? Alright, cool. So it's like a bigger R RV. We have water tanks to have 100 gallon tank. Wow. Hardcore Iron Man real life style. Gosh, I'm so hot. I've actually got a headache now. Like, ah. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut it off soon, guys. Ugh, I'm dying. Sorry, I can't do a longer stream. Blah. Just like headache and and 
downing all of this water isn't helping, and I'm gonna go buy ice cream and pout. Because I don't get my AC fixed until Wednesday. Oh, no, that's 10. I want this one. Go take a cold bath. I need to cool down. Yeah, you're right. I should probably just cold bath, cold shower, or something. I'm so hot. Um, and then I'll go for ice cream. And my car has air conditioning in it. Maybe I'll just sit in it for a little while. But I feel bad for my cats. Oh, I think they have higher body temperatures normally, so it's not quite as bad for them, maybe? And they won't let me dunk them in a cold shower, I'm pretty sure. That would be bad. That would take too much energy. So, I'll finish, finish this inventory and um, go to the bank and I'll probably just like crash in the bathtub. Alright. Alright, we're good. Um, we'll stop at the furnace first and turn them into bars so that it won't be so bad to turn them into things later. I didn't do too bad. I got a level, I think. Yeah. I got a level in mining. And I got to talk to a lot of people! It was great! Very happy! Long time no see, you guys. Thank you for coming back and watching me ramble and mine things. I think I did three inventories. Maybe I did more than three. I think I did three. Yeah! Glad to see you guys. Butter King and Revelations and Toscopy and um, Boosted. Couldn't say your name for I look like staring at it. Like, how do you how do you say that word? I need I need help, guys. I'm falling to pieces. All right, we'll do this. Almost done. Just a little bit more. Click this button. I don't have to click anything for a little bit. Ah, so hot. Glad I don't have to be in a furnace in the middle of a desert turning ore into silver. That's also got to be hot. <sighs> we thought the furnace was a good idea. I don't know. crashing. Only 27.3C in the RV. Windows open and so... Oh, I'm jealous! I think it's like 31 or 32 right now in this house with no airflow except the fans. Oh, and outside... What is this? Hey, look. Outside, 35 outside right now. So I'm only a couple degrees cooler. Couple. And no airflow, really, except the fans. Does that count? I don't know if that counts as airflow. I mean, if you have good air, then it feels cooler, I think. Okay, guys, I'm signing off. See you on Tuesday, even if it's another short stream. I will, I will try to be there Tuesday, and then Wednesday I get my AC. So next week, Friday should be 
much better. Ah, uh, where's the button? Thank you! Bye, guys!